You can see some of the brighter white clouds moving away. That's usually on this particular satellite shot going to show you where the heaviest action is. A little bit up here south of Saginaw, also moving west to east. So I think there's still some opportunity for development until about 9 or 10 o'clock. So we've got a few more hours to watch. This is one of our better uh, computer models. Saying once we get to about 10 o'clock, that is out of here. Then partly cloudy tonight and things certainly calm down for the weekend. 84 in Ipsy, 85 in Troy and Mount Clemens. Detroit's down to 82. Metro's down to 79 now. Some of the thicker clouds and some showers moving through have kind of knocked those numbers down just a little bit. As we go throughout the evening hours, still hanging in the low 80s, especially Detroit into the north where there has not been as much activity. Shower and thunderstorm chance is still there until about 10 o'clock. After that, we're in good shape, partly cloudy and dry overnight tonight. 64 is our low. As we look ahead now to the weekend, this is spectacular. Sunshine, hardly a cloud in the sky on Saturday, 80 degrees. We start Sunday at 54. Now, the day's a little cooler, 76, but we lose most of the breeze. The breeze will be up a bit on Saturday, northwest at 10 to 20. So sunshine in 76 without a breeze feels about the same as sunshine in 80 on Saturday. That's a really nice weekend coming up. Now, again, those numbers on Sunday are down just a little bit. You can see 76 here, 79 in Chicago. But out to the west, there's some heat building back north very, very quickly. We'll be at 76 in Detroit on Sunday, Minneapolis 87. When they get warmer than us, to our northwest, we almost always warm up. And we'll be back to 80 on Monday and then hit 90 on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, likely to get some rain, maybe some thunder as well. Wednesday, Wednesday night, that's probably leftovers from tropical storms.